What's up guys and girls, it's Game Freak and we've returned to Life is Strange. Thanks for all your support on the first two episodes. We were still deciding whether we should report Nathan as we did at first or maybe hide the info and keep investigating on our own as Max. I have to stop before I pass out. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. We're gonna I'm change our story just a little worried about my. Ourselves. Here we go. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. I can rewind again? Okay, okay, I think I'm gonna report him. Let's go. We speak. You look a little stressed out. Skipped and report Nathan. At least now our scholarship safe. I just saw him. Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to... I'm happy you all are enjoying this series. Make sure to hit that like button for more videos. Thank you. This looks pretty massive. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Okay, so Principal Welch is gonna do something about the incident after all. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Yeah, sure. Why not? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen? 
Probably that guy who caught us outside. David today. Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Who are these Native Americans now? The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. So many missing posters for this Richie Lambert. Wait, what's this one? I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. Let's talk to these folks lying around here. Hey, Hayden. There she is! The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Okay, let's hear your thoughts about Nathan Prescott. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, it's fucking hilarious when he's blazed and he does always have the best shit. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Uh, well, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. I already feel like Vortex Club was somehow involved in her disappearance. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. What's this? Bro. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. 
You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Whoa, rude. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. I'm almost sure Warren has the same bag. It looks a bit nerdy though. What's this? This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody... I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I'm not sure yet. I mean, he's clearly a genius, but I don't agree with everything he says. He does get a bit pretentious, but he's passionate and just says what he thinks. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. What? Well, I heard that from a good source. Um, interesting. See, you learn something new every day at school. Like I said, you have a lot to learn. Max, see you in class. Mr. Jefferson has such a gift for different styles. Who's that guy? Loner, I guess? Evan. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Let's just ask him then. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Uh, 
Steve McCurry? Unless he could travel back in time. McCurry was born five years after the falling soldier picture. McCurry also shoots in color. In other words, no portfolio. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna rewind and get tried this time. Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Photos of Rachel Amber. Huh. Clever. Clever. Hello, Luke. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? Uh-oh. Not really. Not really. I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. No, can't tell you, dude. Nope, he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. Explore some more. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or...? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on.
Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh, ah, oh, oh. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. To the dormitories. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Just... Hello, Alisa. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. No. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Oh, great. Victoria again. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Yeah. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right, be right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. What now? Do we take the ladder? Nice, bro. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Then something else to get her to move. Well, that's what we will try to do when we come back with the next episode. Smash okay. that like button, let me know in the comments how we should get Victoria to move. Till next time guys, awesome. thank you so much for watching. No. I think we found our answer already. <laughs>